Hello everyone. Today let us learn about cytoskeletal elements. As you see over here, you have the picture of a cell. Can you identify the cytoskeletal elements? The cytoskeletal elements are the microfilaments, the intermediate filaments and the microtubules. We will learn a little bit more about these. Let's see what is a cytoskeleton. Cytoskeleton, as the name suggests, is the skeletal network of a cell. It's a network of fibers extending throughout the cytoplasm of a cell. There are three main protein fibers, that is the microtubules, microfilaments and the intermediate filaments. As you can see over here, these thin thread-like structures are the microfilaments. These structures over here are the intermediate filaments and these structures over here are the microtubules. What is the basic function of a cytoskeleton? The cytoskeleton basically has three functions. One, to, for providing structural support, for motility and for regulation. With respect to support, it helps in maintaining the shape of the cell and provides anchorage for cell organelles. It helps or facilitates cell locomotion and it's found in cilia and flagella which are the locomotory organs. It also helps in organizing the structures and activities of the cell and thereby aids in regulation. Let's study these cytoskeletal elements. The first cytoskeletal element that we will be learning about are the microtubules. Over here is the picture of microtubules as it appears inside the cell. And you can see below is the structure of the protein tubulin, which is made which of which the microtubules are made up of. The microtubules are thicker fibers. They are hollow rods about 25 nanometers in diameter and they are constructed of the protein tubulin. Tubulin exists as a diamer and the tubulin can be added on to the chain or can also be removed out to this growing chain and therefore these are said to be in dynamic movement where the growth or the shrink of the tubulin molecules depends on whether the tubulin molecules are added or are removed. What is the function of the microtubules? If you can remember the first slide we have seen, the structure of the microtubule helps in giving support. Therefore, it is said to have a structural function in structural support and ideally for cell movement as well. The Classical function or the importance of microtubules can be found in the role they play with respect to the organizing of the chromatids or during cell division. It also guides the moda proteins which carry on the organelles to their destination. And majorly it facilitates or helps in motility by acelia and flagella. Or in other words, cilia and flagella are made up of microtubules, thereby they can are able to show motility or movement. Coming to the example of centrioles, the slide over here shows a longitudinal section of a centriole as is shown over here and the microtubular structures are as well as a cross section of centriole. The cross section of centriole is what you can see over here in this illustrated figure as well. Right? A pair of centrioles help in organizing the microtubules and this guide the cell in cell division. Coming to the other example that is the cilia and flagella. Cilia and flagella are the extensions of the eukaryotic cytoskeleton. Cilia are number are many in number and are short hair like structures, whereas flagella would be one or two per cell and are longer whip like structures. They help in the movement ideally, which are seen in most of the unicellular and some multicellular organelle organisms, which wherein they move by propelling water. 
Cilia ideally are known to sweep mucus and debris from lungs and flagellum is found in sperm cells where it helps in the motility of sperm cells in humans. Now let us stop over here for a second and try to recollect what are the cytoskeletal elements of which cilia and flagella are made up of. You have studied that cilia and flagella help in motility and are made up of a particular kind of cytoskeletal element. Can you identify that element? Yes. The cilia and flagella are made up of microtubules. Now let us see how the arrangement of the microtubule occurs in cilia and flagella. As you know, cilia and flagella are made up of microtubules and they have a specific arrangement which is called as a 9 plus 2 arrangement. This is nothing but 9 pairs of microtubules which are arranged out the periphery around which 2 or in the center are 2 microtubules. Right? Further, the bending of the cilia and the flagella is also possible and this is because of the presence of a motor protein dynin which requires ATP. As you can see over here, this stratical structure is that of a pair of dynins which basically help in the bending of cilia and flagella. Let's come to the second type of, of cytoskeletal elements that is the microfilaments. The microfilaments as you can see are the thinnest class of filaments made up of solid rods of proteins majorly actin therefore called as actin filaments. They ideally are twisted double chains of actin subunits and are about 7 nanometers in diameter. They help in forming a 3D network inside the cell membrane and in muscles actin along with myosin help in muscle contraction. These microfilaments are also said to be dynamic in nature as the actin filaments are constantly formed and dissolved and help in making the cytoplasm stiff or liquidy in nature. This change of the or the dyn or this change or the dynamic process of actin is responsible for the movement of amoeba as well as cytoplasmic streaming. As you can see the sorry as you can see the the actin basically it could depend on the gel or function as a gel or as a sole depending on whether it is liquidy or stiff and thereby facilitating movement. Similar in the in this is responsible for the amoeboid movement as well as in the case of cytoplasmic streaming. Where in the cytoplasmic streaming in the salt state the cytoplasmic movement occurs whereas in the gel state the cytoplasm movement does not occur. The third kind of cytoskeletal elements are the intermediate filaments. These intermediate filaments are specialized structures and are capable of bearing high tension. They are built from protein called keratin. Keratin is the same protein that you find in hair. They are called as intermediate filaments as they are intermediate in size between 8 to 12 nanometers. They function as more permanent fixtures of a cytoskeleton and they help in holding things or holding the cell organelles in their place inside the cell. They also reinforce the cell shape and thereby fix organelle location. For example, nucleus is held in place by a network of intermediate filaments. So now to summarize, we have studied about three types of cytoskeletal elements that is the microtubules, the microfilaments and the intermediate filaments. The microtubules are the thickest, the microfilaments are the thinnest 
and the intermediate filaments are in between the microtubule and microfilaments. The microtubules are made up of tubulin and help in cell structure and cell motility. The microfilaments ideally are made up of actin, sometimes myosin, and help in the internal movements within a cell. And the intermediate filaments are made up of keratin and are more permanent in nature. The structure that you say over here gives you a structure of the microtubule and the nuclei inside the cell. I hope you have understood the basics of cytoskeletal structures. Further information can be found in the site which is wherein we have uploaded a PowerPoint material as well as lecture notes. Thank you.